Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Games by Moonlight First playthrough God of War Part 14 Yes, we're back to the stream to get some of my more uh, some of more God of War playing going on here Ooh, we got some people in chat. Welcome, welcome. Oh, congrats. Yes, I remember you mentioned you, you have like some kind of DMV appointment. Did everything go well? I hope everything went well. I forgot to play the game already. Gosh! <laughs> More like I forgot where I am. Oh yes! We're starting a whole new quest. What? Oh no no no. Oh, I'm gonna die. I know for sure. There's a traveler plus a uh, soul eater I'm about to fight. I just forgot where he is. Crap. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Key B. What's what? What's all this? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. Yeah, that is awesome. Congrats, congrats. So that's what you went to. Uh, you said you went to bed early last night for that. Huh? Oh, man. Super important. Very, very important. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay, here it is. Before I start this, yes! Good luck, good luck! What do I kill first? Uh, whatever, here we go! Come on! Oh, okay! This traveler's not so hard! Yay! Oh, this traveler I can freaking... Oh, I was worried for no reason. Where's the... Playing Fallen Order Ooh, as Inquisitor Cal? Uh, that might not be a bad idea. Boy, ignore him. It's sort of tough. What well, difficulty to are you playing on, Tremor? Grandmaster? Oh, what's this? Nope, that's not it. Oh, what? I can't go up there. Oh, okay. Baby. Ooh. This game is really epic. I have to admit though, combat in in terms of just straight combat, I enjoyed uh, Sekiro and Fallen Order a lot better. Just because of the, you know the parry back and forth felt much nicer. That doesn't mean that the combat in this game is bad. I, I like it. I just feel like this feels more like an RPG to me. Like, 
you 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 go through and you walk into an open room and then you fight a bunch of things and it stops and then you move and then you go into open room while Fallen Order and Sekiro was just like you're fighting on like roofs and like freaking plant on top of trees and stuff. <laughs> But in terms of story, wow, I'm really getting into the story. It's I've never played any of the God of War, but like it's it's drawing me in for sure. Like it's super interesting. And uh we were talking with Tremor the other day. Uh once the what? Boy? I was gonna say. Once he's done with the Norse mythology, he needs to mosey on over to Egypt. I want him finding Anubis. Right, no traps. And like Osiris. Sounded After so that, sure. he can mosey on over to Japan. <laughs> we'll punch Amaterasu in the face. I would love to see Kratos fight all the gods. <laughs> ah, okay, so that's not the place. Okay, that was an item. But yeah, great recommendations. <laughs> Definitely. If it wasn't for you two, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to play such a... A great title like this. Yeah, because I ignored this. I didn't want to play God of War for a long time. It just didn't seem interesting. But after you guys' recommendation, wow, I'm super glad I played it. And I'm looking forward to Ragnarok. I'm actually looking forward to it. Maybe afterwards they can go to another... Oh, shoot! <laughs> Fallen Order? I've always wanted to play it, but I never like had the opportunity until I saw it on sale. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out. And best decision ever. I think it's yeah, like you said, one of the best stories, uh, Star Wars stories ever told. I can't wait for Survivor. Looks like we got them all. But it's like that with Star Wars. I think the video game stories are better than all the live actions so far. In terms of story wise. <clears throat> oh, what the heck? Oh wait, I did something wrong I think. Oh yes, I knew it. Odin should be watching. Ooh, another thing. Hiya! Nope. Okay, seems like we can't do anything else. Alright, let's go boy. Tell me Kratos can't swim. No, I can't wait to see Cal too. I want to see more uh, uh, Mer. Uh, what? What's her? Mer. 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 Oh my goodness! I want to see more Mer. And BD one. Besides Cal, those are my two favorite. Ah, oh, Seer is good too. Ah, oh, I, I like both. You know what? Everyone, you're right. You know what? King B, you're right. You're right. So, uh, what is it? Uh, Fallen Order had much better characters than anywhere. What is this? Ah, oh, okay. Avari says his workshop is up there. But I know, I know. Don't trust the talking man. We have to wait a whole year to see Cal again. Cal has become one of my favorite Jedi's. I gotta admit, we'll see how the sequel comes out. But so far, I really like Cal. Yes, this. Oh wait, boy. 
something dropped, then we'll... Oh, okay. You know, though, I'm just glad that more Star Wars projects are coming. After Mandalorian brought back, like, the... Like, great... Oh, crap, what is this? Oh my gosh, that was hard. Epic Talisman. What? Of course I want that. What? It's such a good talisman. What? I wasted so much upgrading that. Ah. Oh, I have to activate it though, huh? Oh, it comes with a socket? Yes, I'm using it for sure. But I gotta go upgrade it. So, when you say you're fighting Inquisitor Cal, you mean that sequence or like, you, you mean like, uh, what is it? The boss rush mode at the end. Because I haven't tried the boss rush mode. Maybe I should go back and try it, huh? I completely skipped that. I <laughs> went to God of War, so... Do you get to fight him? Do you get to fight Inquisitor Boy. Cal? Father, please, just listen. Ivari's crew did something bad here. He's glad you destroyed his lab, and he's sorry you kept trying to trick him. His hammer is just through this gate. Nice. Okay, so meditation training. Oh, man. I skipped it, because I, I thought, uh, I, well, it's okay. God of War is a good reason to skip it. Maybe even I'll go back and try it out. I, I you know though, I have a confession. I go back and watch my uh, duels in Fallen Order every night before I go to bed. I watch my duels and I'm like, man, the, the duels in the game are almost yeah. like Boy. on par with the live action duels of back like the the prequels and the. Um, yeah, okay. the Revenge of the That's Sith going one. In the How does the games make the Jedi fighting so much better? He's a boss. Oh crap! You know what? You have piqued my interest. This is a fine hammer. I might go back one day and just Ivar's try it out when I'm bored. But right now I got a bunch of stuff to play, so want to get God of War out the way. And then I think the next title. Oh, what the hell is this? How do you get out of here? Ooh. Big brain! Can we keep him? We will talk to the blue one. Oh crap! I'm set! Oh, where'd he go? Right side, brother. Yes, it is.
Oh wait. I got the hammer now, so how do I get there? Aha! Oh, look at that! Big brains. Okay, so I got all the lore, there's two more ravens, there's chests, there's legendary chests, an artifact found. We're not even done with this. Oh my gosh, there's so many things I don't have done. Yep, that I always rewatch that fight. <laughs> Do you think that's him in the survival trailer? Do you think that's him? The one with the long hair? That hammer, or are you too busy looting every keyhole and cranny? That's exactly what I did, bro. I did. So, ooh, mines. Favors complete. Oh, it should be done then. Here, the alchemist hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah, Andre always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. You don't uh, want it? Father, Everybody in Fallen Order was better than Reva. <laughs> He's really useful, I promise. Well, what's your guess? What's your Fine. guess? So long as he proves his worth. Kid's a bit of a softy, huh? Eh? Well, he'll grow out of it. Okay, what's good? I'm gonna upgrade a bunch of stuff, that's what I'm gonna do. I can't because I need a pure essence of gosh darn it. Ah <laughs> damn it. Okay. That explains my Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what? Everything else goes down. Oh no, you know what? I'm going to hold off on these. Gosh. Yeah, boy. I don't know what I'm supposed to make. What else? Hardened. Ooh, I don't have that either. Moving on then. What the heck did you give me then? Oh, uh, ooh, I have nice sockets now. Let's see. That's pretty good. What's a blessing of runic? Nah, it's okay. 
I don't know what half of these are. Dude, that's pretty good though. Whatever. <laughs> Purple good. <laughs> that's how I just go with. Purple good. <clears throat> okay, done, done, done. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Time to leave. Let's go, boy. Yeah, I thought it was uh, Maliko's too because of the gray hair, but. We shall see. But, you know, I feel very blessed that we're getting so much Star Wars content in the next, like, year. Like, can't wait for a bunch of these Star Wars stories to be told. Whether it's good or not, that's, you know, we can decide on that afterwards. But I'm just glad that Star Wars is back. Like, we had a drought for a while. Like, Fallen Order made me re reignited my Star Wars, like... Like, love. Before I just watched the animated series, those were good. Fred, and then, you, you know, watch the sequels and when just kind of... Tell one and entertain. Oh, such a oh, waste of potential. You, you just insulted me. Yeah, I got that. So you want a cop cup, do you? And I read the uh, well, Star brother. Wars uh, Legend books, too. So, like, I... Roll up. So no, much no, missed no. potential. There was a huge battle, right? But it's okay. I'm He's just glad that... I'm just... I'm excited to see lightsabers. A pretty story, but... No. Prungnia, you see, was born with neither hand with nor man, heart. Could, so there's the a lot of things I would have done differently. We were strong, to be sure, sure, but that's just also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him Ooh, wandering that? in Midgard one day. Found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. All right, I'm going to double down on Cal. Cal, you, into all manner you're my favorite Jedi Knight. All for the amusement of the court. I, I don't remember. Re no, I don't think in I Legend the there was any Fallen Order stuff. Neo leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all no. and take Legends our women Legends has to do with Jason, Jaina, Solo. Uh, it's. I read the first because the first book, oh, no. Vector Prime, was written by one of my favorite one look at American authors, R. A. Salvatore. He's a uh, fantasy author. So he makes Chris Burton series. Of in so his I started because of him. Day. And so as far as I read up to, but I didn't finish the whole thing. As far as I read up to, right onto uh, him with a sickening that's crunch. as far as I read up to. Again, I don't remember here reading about calories and legends. Laughter echo through the palace halls. No, no, no. That's an awful story, Mimir. Nothing like the ones Mother told me. Might that be a lesson, my son? Truth is seldom if so you pretty read the Legends legend. book, honestly, you might hate the sequels even more because anyone who read the books, they loved it. And I can see, I can tell you why. It's really good. <clears throat> it, it captured all of the same, you know, themes and motif that Star Wars is famous about, you know, twins, you know, light side, dark side, and whatnot, but they did it a little bit better than Disney did. <laughs> a lot of it better than Disney did, but... <clears throat> That's why I know about so much lost potential in these Star Wars, but Fallen Order? My goodness. Fallen Order was, I would like to say, damn near perfect, if not perfect. Oh crap, what the... I would like to say Fallen Order is either perfect or damn near perfect in my eyes. I love everything about it. Come here. I, I, at the beginning, remember? King B, we took a, a top five, uh, you know, top five, what's it called, favorite Star Wars characters. Uh, oh crap. Stuff, the top favorite Star Wars characters, you know, like list, right? Now, Cal is higher <laughs> on my list for sure. Oh, crap. The Rock. Oh my goodness. Hey, Soul Eaters are. So he does nothing now. <laughs> Our enemies are strong. Burn.
Yeah, Cal is definitely Cal is definitely higher on my uh, top favorite Star Wars character list for sure. And I can't wait to see more of him. They need to give him a trilogy. <laughs> Boy. Give him three games. Game. Give him his own trilogy. <laughs> Ooh. How about an older cow? Like a Kenobi aged cow. What do you think? The third game. Oh, wait. How do I get there? Hey, what the heck? Um. So. Uh, I see. Guess not. I right, move on. Yeah, they they wanted to distinguish themselves away from uh, what's it called, um, Lucas. Especially the first book, they actually asked Lucas for a bunch of stuff that he was not okay with, and stuff he was okay with. And I think a couple of the, I remember the reading about that, they, a couple of the things on the list that he was okay with, they went with it. Like, one of the big ones. I would love a live action with Mantis crew. I would love it. Who would play? No, what do you want? Oh, but, do, would you rather, would you want a retelling of Fallen Order first? Or a sequel of Fallen Order? Because I kind of want to see, uh, I want to see Trilla. She deserves to be in the live action. She was one, she is literally the best uh, Inquisitor in my eyes. Grand Inquisitor is scary, but I like Trilla. Uh, if, if you're gonna make a live action with the Mantis crew, Trilla needs to be in it. So, I don't mind the uh, if they start with Fallen Order and then after Trilla passes, they can continue, but I want Trilla. She needs to be in there. Ever since the opening scene, she was badass. Bad ass. Oh, what the heck? I came here for that. Really? What's this? What? I came here for this? Fine, whatever. Oh my gosh, I would love a live action with the Mantis crew. <laughs> You know, uh, there was a behind the scenes thing with the Legends, uh, the first, uh, I believe the first book, Vector Prime. They, they asked uh, Lucas, uh, yeah I told you that they had a list of things Lucas was okay with and not okay with. And they, on the list, there was a list of people he was okay with uh, like killing off. And obviously he wrote a list and one of the ones not on the list was a very, very, very big character. And that's why in the first one, they're like, we're going to go straight, go big or go home. <laughs> because of that, actually, a lot of uh, a lot of people didn't like it, actually. If you know what I'm talking about. It's true. But, you know, Cal? He looks like Cal, so I don't see why would live action not be okay. <laughs> they look just like the characters. But that means that there's no... Uh, ah. There was another shipwreck under the water. There's no second sister. No way. How can you have a fallen order without the second sister? There's so many things to explore in this game. Oh no, I hate that thing. Ah, too long. <laughs> Aha, that's the one. Woohoo! Oh, it got a lot easier. 
Well, they gotta do it quick. Cal's not getting any younger. He looks so old in Survivor. My boy, my poor boy. What the heck? Come on, hit it. Oh, Grease for sure has to be CG. <laughs> they need to bring the models. The same models. The same actors and actresses. We have no one left behind. Ooh. I want to see a live action Rebels though, because I really like Kanan. I like Kanan and Elza's the whole relations too. And that was a really good series, but eh, I think leaving it alone might be better. <laughs> hey, big brain. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> if we learned anything, if we learned anything, chat, it's let's keep our expectations a little bit low. With Ahsoka, I'm super hopeful at the same time. I'm just happy she got her own show because we never know what can happen. <laughs> As you can see. Oh, boy. What's this? Yes, sir. Oh yeah, there's a treasured map from um. Crap, I, I don't know who it was. This. Back here somewhere. <sighs> That's not right. He hasn't failed this yet, but with Star Wars, keep your expectations low. <laughs> keep it low so no matter what happens, you're not gonna be sad. <laughs> oh, it was his birthday a couple days ago, no? Like a day ago. I think it was his birthday a day ago. Oh, I saw posts saying happy birthday to him, I think. You know, even if Dave Filoni makes a mistake, he's still, <laughs> he's still my man. I don't care. He can mess up. He has credits. I don't care. I'll watch whatever he makes. Oh, what the heck? How do I get there? Oh, uh, oh, I'm so stupid. Yes, Tales of the Jedi. That's a big one. You guys are not excited about what is it, Eclipse or something coming up? There's so much exploring in this game. Nice, congrats! What's that? Why is there so much crap here? I have to use my brain. 
But first, yeah. <laughs> Two long years? <laughs> I'm glad you finally did it. Does he show up dressed as the Inquisitor when you fight him? Because I remember uh, you get that suit uh, just from doing New Game Plus. I might go back and do some meditation training like when I'm bored or something. Uh... Let's go. Ah, uh, no! See if my brick brain can do this. Yes. Hmm. More dust of realms? Give me the gold one then. Oh, there's eleven more. Go. Oh. Yes, but a, a good rule of thumb to follow for Star Wars, no matter who does it, is take it with a grain of salt. And, uh, ooh, what is it? Keep your expectations low. They better not do my girl Ahsoka wrong. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Booyah. That's why they're so good, because it's produced by, uh, it's made by fans of the actual series. Those two are actual fans. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fight some kind of crazy boss. You better not! <laughs> yes, he brought Asoka, and when Asoka came out, people thought she was blasphemous. Hell no. Oh my gosh, who is this and why did he look so angry? Oh my goodness! Why does he look so angry? Oh. No, I'm stupid. I should not have done that. These skills are no bueno when one hit kills you. Oh. Only one bar? Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, what's that fine mess? Ah, uh, I was right. Some kind of crazy thing over here. Oh my goodness. I can do it. I have to. Focus. Oh boy. 
I don't think I'm supposed to be here, but I can do it. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Come on. We can do this, boy. We can do this. do this soon I'm gonna have to come back when I'm strong enough because this is insane super like that okay i just need to get him halfway if i can get him halfway i can just super the rest okay he's doable now doable now for sure cows in it i want to even put even marion i think i really liked her character in uh fall in order It could be done! I just need to get him halfway! And I can Spartan Rage the other half. Prepare yourself! I'm stupid. Push the wrong button. Oh! 
You know what? I'm just gonna go for it now. Oh! What the hell happened to my rage? What? What happened? What happened to my fucking rage, you cheater? of the light that binds all realms together. Oh. Why would he use those strange rooms, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. That bastard, yeah. didn't you? Oh, crap, what the f... Ooh. We've seen huh. these rooms before, but it's the kind I still can't read. Ah. Uh. That was it. Oh my gosh, that was hard. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'm supposed to fight that thing. It was a level 8 with a skull on it. Ooh. Yeah, you know how good... I like that uh, King Blade man I mentioned. That is a bold choice. I really like Trilla. I really do. But will she be in my top 5? That's very bold. Very bold. But I really liked her as a character and I really want to see her some more. Ever since the opening sequence, that's how I, sh I feel Reva should have been. If you were going to bring a scary female Inquisitor, it should have been like Trilla. She was amazing from the minute the game started, even when she was talking to you over the intercom. Great acting, great personality, and at the very end, her line, Avenge us. Oh! Just that alone makes me want to put her on like my top list, but like, I don't know. There's too many good characters. But yes, Trilla deserves more respect. Where is it? Where am I going? Oh yeah, we have to Oh, that... Traveler was so difficult, like, oh my gosh, what the freak? I remember, not the exact, but I remember Qui-Gon Jinn, because that's very unique. I actually have one friend who was, who was a huge fan of Qui-Gon, and that reminded me of that. I remember that. <laughs> Qui-Gon Jinn, uh, and, what's it called? Count Dooku. Asoka, and then I realized the Tales of Jedi is just is meant for you. <laughs> Tales of Jedi is meant for you. Someone heard you talking about your favorite and made. Oh crap! Where am I? I don't know what we're still doing here. 
Oh, there's an Odin's Raven here, boy. But I am not gonna waste my time or the chat's time looking for it. Not yet, at least. You know, though, the fact that you have Palpatine second, ah, I, I know what type of fan you are. <laughs> there are some die hard Palpatine fans, then. <sighs> I don't know, I think I, I think Ahsoka is second for me almost at this point. I'm really, really like Ahsoka. It's from Clone Wars to Rebels to even her little uh, cameo. Oh, they found the perfect, uh, they found the perfect Ahsoka and Rosera Dawson. Hello there, welcome to the chat. Even though we're Tom, we're playing and streaming God of War. We're nerding up some Star Wars here? tonight. Hope that's okay with y'all. But yes, if you do have any God, God of War comments, yeah. please, please. Both. What? Are what is this? Freemont. Are, are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. Ooh, they plague the these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. These abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. Oh, new quest! A thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor. Or his judgment was. Oh, Thor messed you up? Alright then, let's go get your revenge. Oh, this is an exit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have friends like that that's super into the top between. I know, I know. You're one of those Star Wars fans. Well, you know, I remember you said you're not a... You don't like Sith though, right? You you said you you don't side with the Sith, right? I mean, no, even though you might like Palpatine that time, but I remember it mentioned the... Because I said... Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm okay with being Jedi, but I like to be a little aggressive, like Mace Windu. That's how I played my uh, Cal from Fallen Order. And I remember you said you weren't Sith, so I discovered really opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I gave up my search for you and I long ago. We have a Sith in the chat. No, but in all honesty, if I was force sensitive, I'd probably be a Sith. Yep. Force choke is the way to go. Look here. <laughs> but you know, I honestly want the live action to start talking about the older Sith, like Darth Bane and like the other ones. Like I'm tired of Papa Dean. Like I want the other ones to show up sooner or later. What, Darth Bane, the one that made the rule of two? It's been a while, so my Star Wars uh, knowledge might be twisted here and there. But with Darth Bane, right? He was the one that made the rule of two, right? I don't want—I don't want to waste time going to Google right now. <laughs> Crap. Like, uh, what is this? Star Wars, the MMO, I think, has some really good premise for some stories. And even the cinematic trailers from them are like, ooh, so sweet. So much potential. No worries. Please, please, share your thoughts. That's what we're here to do. We're here to, you know... Uh, have a very civilized discussion about nerdum. Yes, please. Write down whatever you feel. <sighs> Your two cents. I lo I want to hear it all. We're currently talking about Star Wars, but I think the... I'm a fan of everything. Honestly, there's not really a lot of things I hate. I hate is such a big word for me. I like to enjoy everything, so... I'm a big fan of Marvel, DC, comic book movies, just regular movies, 
Like, I even watch, I'm a big, I watch anime, American cartoons, whatever. If it has a story, I would try it at least once. So yeah, bring whatever, whatever to the table. And King B, don't apologize ever for a text fall. I want to hear what you got to say. You have some really good points and I, and it's, I'm really glad I can discuss this kind of stuff with it. Because yes, as you might have noticed, I like to tend to side with the light side a little bit more even though I know I'm probably going to be a Sith in heart. But I love to hear the perspective of everybody, honestly, so please go for it. Anyone at chat, please tell me what you guys feel about whatever fandom we rage about, so. We're here to have fun and like discuss some nerdum. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna fight something here. What? What am I doing? Hmm. Oh, that's this way. But I'm, I finished this. Do, 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 do. I'm 50% on that one. 50-50 on that one. <laughs> King B, I love you. I love you, homie. But I'm 50-50 on that one. Because <laughs> I explained it. I, I like the older uh, Batman characters. But the story, plot, acting, great. Great. And I can't wait to see more Robert Patterson. You don't like Bat, uh, Bat Flick? Is it Bat Flick? Is that what they call it? <laughs> You don't like swole Mr. Batflick. I felt blessed to lead such a loyal crew. Boy, what a sad story. Yes. We should help him. Really? You are surprised. Well, yeah. I don't think you'd care about helping a spirit. Fighting more Hellwalkers is good experience for you. Oh, wait a minute. You gave me a quest, but you don't tell me where to go. Hmm. Back. What? I don't understand. Andrew Garfield so underappreciated. I wanted to have his third movie. What's going on? I heard. I, I'm not sure if it's confirmed yet, but I I read that Sony. Put the hammer down on his uh, rumored third movie. Andrew Garfield deserves a third movie. I loved Andrew Garfield Spider. The thing is, though, Andrew Garfield was actually a fan of uh, Spider-Man, so he he was a really great Peter Parker to me, at least. Oh man, what the heck? Why I don't know why they won't give him his third movie. After No Way Home, you can't fail. I mean, obviously if the script and story, but it's after the fact. I don't understand why Sony would like put the hammer down on it now. Uh, ride the huge, you know, huge Spider-Man craze. I think anyone would agree to see uh, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. I don't think no one's gonna say no. But Sony, something wrong with them. A dangerous beast. What the heck? We will take him down together. What is this? Ooh. Ooh, these things are strong. Oh. What? And and it's what? The, did it throw a flashbang at me? <laughs> I don't want him to retire. He was so good in No, uh, no Way Home too. Oh, I want to see more of Andrew Garfield, Spidey. Oh, where am I going? No, 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 I want a rematch. I want a rematch. I killed a level eight traveler. Those things are nothing. <laughs> Do you remember in No Way Home, that line? You guys fought so cool villains. All I thought was a guy in a rhino suit. <laughs> See? Give him justice. Justice for I Andrew Garfield. Until they are put to rest. You know, honestly, I think Andrew Garfield, the third one, should be 
Miles Morales. Miles Morales should be in the third one, like taking up the mantle and he can retire. Or I tend to be a little bit morbid. I like to put my characters through a lot of pain. So if anything, we could have Andrew Garfield die in the third movie and then Miles Morales take up the mantle. And then if you can create a Miles Morales movie after. He wants to retire too, right? So three movies, perfect. Andrew Garfield comes out, he sees another kid, you know, the whole Miles Morales story, teaching him how to be, you know, great, great power we'll comes, great responsibility, but passes away. Instead of Uncle Ben and you know, the Aunt May thing, oh, cool. The whole uh, Uncle Ben passing away thing, it's Andrew Garfield passing away! And Miles Morales picking up the mantle. Come on, come on. No! Oh no! Oh my gosh, what's going on? Oh my gosh, what the- Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Almost died! Oh crap! Oh! 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 What the hell? You know, I haven't seen Mobius. Should I? <laughs> I haven't seen Mobius. Should I? <laughs> Oh, I'm actually excited for Avatar 2. I enjoyed the first one. But then again, you know me. I, I tend to enjoy a lot of things, but... Oh, what the heck? Huh? How do I get that? Oh. To me, if I have another reason to watch something that has... I feel like... Oh, what the heck is that? Oh my god, I'm so dead. My HP is so low. Huh? How do I get there? Darn this game. Uh, if you want to talk about the story, the story was Pocahontas. But we can say that about a lot of things. But oh my goodness. The cinematic was epic in those mech battles. Loved it. I will not give up until they are put to rest. To me, it's the closest thing that we're gonna get to a good live action anime. Um, how do I heal? Yo, I'm dying. Ooh. So, you, you guys haven't really answered me. Mobius? <laughs> yes? No? Maybe so? Even as a joke, watch it? Oh, you like- But, I'm so excited. You know Ferngully? Do you know Ferngully though? Like, I- All these young people don't know Ferngully! How do you not know Ferngully? Ferngully is such an amazing cartoon! <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I love Ferngully. Growing up, that was one of my favorite like little no-name cartoons no one knows about. I can't believe people don't know Ferngully these days. I was shocked. I was like, I was like, it's, it's Avatar is like Ferngully. Uh, <laughs> you don't think? Is it a waste of money? <laughs> no, but King B, I'm so glad you brought up Ferngully because when Avatar came up, I told him, hey, you know, it's just a revamped Ferngully with mechas. They're like, what's a Ferngully? I'm like, no way, you don't know Ferngully. Ferngully? Even though it's a played out story, it's still, to me, a, a, I love the cartoon. <laughs> Mobius is the movie of the time. <laughs> Man, I, 
You the G, you know Fern Golly, you a G for sure. What am I gonna die? I have no HP. This stupid game, come on, how what about instant regen when I'm out of combat? Oh no, I feel like it. It's Mobius time. Oh no, there's something here. He's level seven. Sorry, not ready. Oh, what? How many? Yeah, there's no way. I'm sorry. There's no way. Get out of here. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, no way. <laughs> no way possible. There's two of them? Yeah, no way. It's one of the movies of all time, eh? <laughs> Did you guys see it? No, I want to see it. Oh my gosh. Why is there so many enemies here? Uh. Oh, okay, only five? Okay, I can fight this. This is easy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, hold on. What? Oh, you son of a! Why is he turned down? That's easy, boy. Delayed. Okay, it's fine. He's easy. I haven't watched Venom. I have a confession. I did not watch that. Is it good? I, I hear mixed things about it. People, some people like it, some people hate it. I haven't watched it, so I don't know. Alright, my best question is this: Would you watch it for free? If it's enjoyable for free, then it's okay. But if it's like completely like it's a waste of time and money, then no, I don't want to watch it. Woo! Came to here. I'm came to play, boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Be focused. <laughs> oh no, well, that was hit. Oh yeah, die! Getting a letter here and there. You watched we'll Venom the in the, the theaters the too? <laughs> that bad, huh? If you say it's bad enough that even if you won't even watch it if it's free, then it's pretty bad. <laughs> Why is everything so hard all of a sudden? Okay, Venom worse or Morbius worse? I 
to try everything once, so like, but ah, there's so many things on my backlog that if I'm gonna try something, it's either gonna be one or the other. So Venom or Morbius, or none. <laughs> Just go to sleep. Oops, <laughs> no question. <laughs> Did you like Tom Hardy as, uh, as Venom? As, uh, dang, I can't, why can't his name, Brock, not Brock. Oh my god, I can't remember his Almost. name all of a sudden. If we could just find Eddie, Eddie Brock, yeah, Eddie Brock, yeah. Eddie Brock, yeah. Oh, Let There Be Carnage was even worse? No. Man, I was not excited, but I was gonna eventually watch it one day. But now, I don't know if I want to waste my time. Can we do this? Oh no, these wolves dodge so fast! Okay, you know what, let's go. Oh. 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 oh, can't be done. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, that that those two can't be done. That's too harsh. Okay, let's just move on. We'll come back. I need better uh, gear and uh, higher stats. Like they kill me one hit, and there's two of them. So Venom missed opportunity, eh? Did you like- Okay, I know that you said the movie's terrible, but how about the character? Was Woody Harrelson decent as Carnage? Did he portray Carnage, uh, Cassidy- Ca uh, Clacious? Cassidy? Cassidy Clacious, I think, or something like that. Something, I don't know. That. Did he portray him well? Because in my honest- op uh, in Not in my honest opinion, like, I felt like- Long time ago, not now, not now, back when like, during the Tobey Maguire era, I was hoping for a Jim Carrey carnage. <laughs> back in Tobey Maguire Spider-Man era though. I was, uh, I, I, I always wanted to see Carnage as Jim Carrey, well because maybe at the time there wasn't no like psychotic actors like him, but what do you think? Cletus, Cletus Cassidy, yeah. Did you like Woody Harrelson's portrayal or? Another hidden area. And I want to see if you guys like the actors. Because you know, maybe maybe in the future they might bring the actor back in a, a story with a better writing and direction. You never know. Hey. Oh my god, what the- Moving a bit slow. Alright, let's play. I know. Oh. Okay, you liked him, but was not Carnage, huh? You didn't feel like Carnage? The most carnage we got was the animated series, well, me, animated series Spider-Man long time ago and the Super Nintendo video game Maximum Carnage. That's all the carnage I got. Come on. Ah, those stupid rocks. Yes! The 90s cartoon Carnage and Venom is what I got. So, if they're not anywhere near those level... That's not the person you expect to eat babies. 
I know, Karn is supposed to eat babies. <laughs> Oh, come on, the rock. <laughs> but you're wrong. It could be. I am. I could be wrong. I don't mind being wrong. I'm just. I like my old. Oh, crap. I like my old Riddler. I did like a uh, hush and all that stuff, but. I want my old Riddler. I'm, I'm not getting fooled by that one. Oh. Of course. <laughs> My only problem with that movie is it's just the pacing. Oh no! Come on! This button's. That's the one twist I like that they added. Uh, that added differently. They added the whole society becoming a. Uh, pretty much, society is a villain. They added that it's a moral lesson thingy. In the book, it was about revenge between Billy Boy, Elliot and whatnot. His childhood friend getting together with Riddler and getting revenge, and then. But it was impossible to make that into a movie because there was there was a lot of uh, villains they can't use so they were able to change that i like that twist i just i just didn't like that it like some scenes it felt long it felt long like it just felt certain scenes was dragged i didn't have a problem with the story or the directing and acting was amazing i just felt like for example like if he's reaching for something it could have been like 10 seconds shorter <laughs> that's all i felt because i had to go use the restroom twice that means it was a long movie Woo! I got everything here? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. This was what you say as real of a Riddler as you can get. But once again, I'm not watching Batman movies to learn a life lesson. I'm watching Batman movies because I want to watch a superhero movie. I want to watch him go bam kablow and then fight ridiculous superheroes that are doing some ridiculous plot. If you're going to make a movie with a moral lesson, make a noir movie. Make a thriller. I want to watch Batman punch things. Ooh, this is a new area. Too much thinking for a Batman movie. <laughs> I want my Kate Crusader to kick ass. I already know society is a plague. You don't need to tell me twice, Riddler. <laughs> I just want Batman to punch his gallery of rogues in the face. Yeah, that's the only. That's why it oh. wasn't a uh, super duper wow for me. I was expecting like I, I wanted to watch like just a mindless superhero movie, but it was like wow, this is like a long life lesson. <laughs> if it was the pacing was shorter, I, I think it'd have been better because I had to use the restroom twice. It really could move. Well, no, 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 not spectacular in terms of like, I don't, I don't want to watch CGI, but like, I watch superheroes ever since I was little, playing them from video games, the comic books, even collecting their uh, card games and stuff. Superheroes, I like to see superhero stuff. That's, that's what I want to see. I understand like, 
you know, going and making superhero modern with the whole Nolan. And I loved it. Dark Knight is still my favorite Batman movie ever. People could fight me on it. I cried at Dark Knight. That's how Batman should have been told. So I love that part. But I wanted to see Batman to like, I wanted to see a Batmobile do Batmobile things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. But once you retrieve the that, 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 that's why I didn't enjoy it. Well, while people like you could have enjoyed it. But you, you can't tell me I have to enjoy it a certain way. I wanted to experience a superhero movie by seeing like I'm feeling great, explosions okay. with the, for example, the Batman, uh, the Batmobile scene. I really did not like. The Batmobile, the way I like it is, yes, it's a noir detective film, which is exactly what Batman is, detective. But once again, I, I want to watch Batman to see like Batmobiles, his bat jet. I want to see him grappling around and like, basically, I want a live action, the animated series Batman. And honestly, I think if they just follow one of the scripts from the animated series, it'd be fine, but... This Batman was very, very... They're trying to be very heavy. I can see it. With the whole dragging along scenes. Like, for example, when Batman at the end, he was going to get shot in the chest. I think that scene could have been like five seconds shorter. Yeah, that's just my opinion on it. But the story itself, very well. great. Acting, amazing. I want to see everyone back. I really like Robert Patterson's Batman. I like that a lot. I, know, I even like the Catwoman. I don't know why people have something against uh, Zoe Kravitz. I think she did a pretty good Catwoman, in my opinion. I liked her. And what do you? Oh, have your upgrade, idea? baby. I think you'll be pleased, young man. I can't wait for the second one too. And we're back to it's you. like this. What it's surprise. not my Dark Knight, but it's my like. I feel it's on par with like the Dark uh, Dark Knight Rises and Batman Begins for me. It's not my Dark Knight. No way. Dark Knight will always be Dark Knight to me. It's not my Dark Knight, but it's it's probably close second or third. I don't know. Batman Begins is second for me, so I don't know. It's hard being Batman Begins. I really like uh, Raja Ghul. It all depends on the character, the villain too. Penguin and Riddler. I like Riddler, but Hush. They didn't even have Billy Elliot. You're missing half of Hush. I still can't believe a son would kill his own father. That's crazy, right? I just want a proper I know. He only got animated side of the story. But come on. What white privilege time? Did she say something? I mean, I get angry at you sometimes, but you? did she say something I mean, white privilege? I don't remember her saying sometimes, something white privilege. Yeah, line. A little. I thought this Catwoman was amazing. You in the back. No. I imagine not. What line? I don't remember a line. I Refresh me. I don't remember she saying something about white privilege. And technically, according to the comic books, Serena Kyle is mixed. She's only really white in the animated series. I thought it's Lennox, uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but I really like Nina Kravitz's uh, Catwoman. I thought she was pretty good. There must be a way to lift the gate. A, a mixture Maybe of sexy, badass. Yeah, I, as well. uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, so don't laugh at me. Is it a uh, fem Femin Fatel? The men for tell something like that. I thought she did a darn good job. I don't see why she's getting so much hate. And Robert Patterson, I can't wait for his Batman. I want more of his story. And Gordon, I really like this Gordon. I don't know why people have problems with this Gordon. I thought he acted pretty darn well for being Gordon. Honestly, in my opinion, I liked all the characters, even the people, even the enemies, even the the rogue gallery. I thought they all did a superb job acting. I don't see why they got so much hate from the acting. I, I have zero complaints. Did she say that in the movie or the actress said, said that? Boom! Oh! Hit down! Get down, get over here. Mm. I hate this thing. Enemies down. Oh. 
Well, I don't remember if she said something like that. Even if she said something like that, what does it have to do with anything? <laughs> I thought she did a fine, good job at Catwoman. Oh, here is the question. Did you like? I don't know the actor to this, so uh, uh, correct me if uh, uh, mention his name for me if you know. The the actor who played Penguin. Do you like that Penguin or uh, Batman? Uh, Batman Returns Penguin. What is it? Uh, Joe Pesci, right? Joe Pesci. Joe. Who was it? Why is everything lagging? Danny DeVito, Joe Pesci. Psh, where did I get Joe Pesci? <laughs> Which one? Did you like the uh, uh, the new Penguin or the old Penguin? I thought the new Penguin did a pretty dang good job. He felt like Penguin a little. Wait, Colin Farrell's penguin, you're right, King B, Colin Farrell had a penguin, which one was it? Oh my god, I can't remember. Oh my god, oh crap. Penguin was good and all, but where's my giant duck, rubber ducky tank, <laughs> once again? If I expect to see Penguin, I expect to see a rubber ducky tank. Oh, the animated series has ruined me. No, it's not. I still think that's the best Batman portrayal ever. I will die on that hill. Animated, the animated series Batman. Oh. Wait a minute, no way. That's Colin Farrell? No way! You're right! Holy crap! Remember I just mentioned, I'm like, I don't know who the actor for Penguin was from the Rob uh, from the Batman. Holy crap, that's Colin Farrell! What? He tricked me for sure. I had no idea. What? That was Colin Farrell? He deserves an Oscar for that. Holy crap. I, I liked his penguin. I had no idea that was Colin Farrell though. If he fooled me, damn. Damn, he deserves an Oscar. I had no idea that was Colin Farrell. Oh crap. Now that I pulled up the image, it is him. Holy crap, it is. You guys are right. Holy crap, Colin Farrell played the penguin? That's nuts. It's true, true. Word, King B, I think so. Yeah. That's why, yeah, I agree with you. I understand why it's 10 10 for you. But like I said, Batman is such a, such a versatile. Uh, character he has long history we just like i guess it got to the point where very different variations people like i just like the older older style batman's the animated series but oh my god colin failed you deserve an oscar homie what the heck holy crap oh yeah bullseye is there huh <laughs> you never forget <laughs> I 
I know, I remember you guys said you guys like the Ben Affleck, oh, Ben Affleck's uh, Daredevil. Are you excited for Daredevil Season 4 though? Do you guys like Carl Cox? Is it Carl Cox? No, not Carl Cox. Charlie Cox. Do you guys like Charlie Cox's portrayal? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with Ben Affleck, but I really like the uh, TV series. The Daredevil TV series, I really liked it. I thought it was like one of their better TV series. <laughs> you you bad as fuck, huh? <laughs> Daredevil 2, they need to do him justice. Daredevil was one of my uh, childhood like favorites growing up. I had all of all of his kit in an old um, collectible card game called Overpower. I'm not sure if you guys heard of it. It was all these Marvel characters and we just like collected Daredevil. He was my boy. I won so many uh, games with him. He had that one move where like uh, it, it hits all of the inner energy synergy so you can kill each character like really quick. I even loved him in Civil War too. The comic book, not 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 the uh, uh, MCU version. The comic book Civil War, the first one. Oh, third favorite show of all time. You're hesitant about the hype. <laughs> so you're worried about Daredevil, but you're not worried about Asuka. Well, no, you have a valid point. Asuka is being done by David Filoni and. Daredevil, we'll see. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. Oh crap! No wonder I'm lagging. I'm really sorry, cats. Uh, I've hit the hour and 30 minute mark of way past it. I was wondering why my stream was lagging on the side. Um, anyways, uh, I'm sorry to say, RK. Uh, I usually close my streams on an hour and 30 because uh, the video upload that goes to YouTube has problems after. So I'm gonna have to cut the stream short here. It was great hanging out with you, King B. King B, Tremor, you guys are my guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Come back again. Let's nerd it some more up. I love talking about nerd stuff. Like, I don't have anyone to talk to about this kind of stuff, man. <laughs> so, yes, come back. I love hearing about your perspectives. I, I love seeing the other side. Like, and it, you guys have some really solid points. I love it. I love it. You guys aren't just like, uh, like it's not like, Every time you guys have something to say, it's it's it has a valid point. I love seeing these points, and it's it has it brings my love for the fandom even more. So thank you so much for hanging out. Hope to see you guys again. Yes, I know it's late for some of you. <laughs> Please, <laughs> we'll see each other again. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for another God of War, I believe. It's Friday, so good night, y'all, and uh, hope to see you guys again and hang out. Peace out. Bye bye.